general layout rectangle here, we're going to create four posts to support the pergola itself. And to do that, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool up here, go down to this point of origin, drag a rectangle and just click and then go 5.5 comma 5.5 to give us a five and a half inch square, which we're going to now select by dragging around it, right click and make this a component, which we will call pergola post. And making sure the replace selection with component box is checked, we're going to say create. And that gives us a component to work with for these posts. And you can do this in various orders, but for now I'm just going to select that component in the move tool and then hit the control key and drag a post over here to this corner. And zoom out, select those two posts, which I can do because this rectangle is a group, so uh, I don't select it with that method. And then I'm going to grab the move tool and hit control again, and if I grab this post by a corner, drag it over there, then I've created uh, four separate iterations of the post component. Get those posts, then hold down shift and click this one. And then right click this and make a group. So now we have um, a group that is the layout rectangle and another group that contains four post components. And by double clicking into the post component group, uh, now I've got into edit mode. And if I select one of these, then we're going to edit one of the post components. So I double click to enter the component within the group. Hope that's not too confusing. And then I'm just going to grab the board stretcher here and pull this in the up direction. And rather than trying to get this to land on 10 feet, I'll just type 10 feet enter and there, there we go. Four posts, 10 feet tall. And you can see how it acts on all these posts at once.